just um, began to space the tiles out uh, to work out where they go. It's always best to cut as many tiles as you can first uh, before you lay the glue. So you, so you know the layout of the room, you've got everything sorted. So what we do is we always cut the ones that follow the wall line. Uh, no room I've found has ever been exactly straight. So if you try and put a full tile down one side of the room, uh, you'll end up starting with a gap like this and generally ending up with a gap like that. Uh, so what we always do is, is, is cut as we go down and onto all sides of the, of the walls. So to cut a tile, this will be the tile that will go there. So th this is the little trick, is you put, you put your middle tile down, which is actually going to end up being the one over, that sits over there, and you put the other tile, which could be the middle tile, on top of it to get a line. You work out the space of the wall. We're going to have to angle grind um, around to, to follow that trim there. Okay, so with the other tile on top, we just drew a line along the tile with a pencil. It's always best to use a pencil and not a marker pen because when you cut, you don't want a line of black that you're going to be leaving along near, near your grout line. Okay, so we've marked that off. Then we lift this tile off. So when I cut this tile, it's going to sit over there, so the cut line, uh, which is always leaves a slightly sharper edge than the nice finished edges, will sit against the run of the trim. Place the tile in the tile cut. Follow the drawn line down to follow the centre of the, the cutter, where the blade follows. You might have to have a few practices at this. Uh, very rarely do people get it the first time, but it does get easier. <laughs> yes, just, just make sure the blade's following along that line you've, you've drawn with the pencil. Okay, so you lower the blade at the start of the tile, and then follow it to score the tile. And you whack down, like so, with the handle, just one quick whack, and you've got a cut tile. Now, as I explained before, there are going to be areas in the room where you will need to use the angle grinder. Uh, like this, this area of the door, where the trim of the door is. Uh, so you just need to mark off with your pencil where you're going to grind. As close as possible. To try and follow the trim of the door so the tile can butt in three mils away from the, the next four tile. You may want to come back and forwards and just keep testing it. So best to undercut at first with the grinder and just coming back so you end up with about a two or three mil gap around that trim. Uh, you also want a two or three mil gap to the wall. So no part of the tile is uh, touching another, another corner. Okay, uh, one more corner here. So what we have to do is the tile will be wrapping around this corner. So to get that uh, 90 degree angle, what we do is we've, we've put all these in, we've spaced them off so we know where these other tiles are sitting now. They've been angle grind and cut at the sides. Okay, so we know that this tile here is 31 and a half centimetres wide. 
or 315 mils. So this tile, and remember always these tiles need to be running if they've got a pattern like these ones have a marble sort of finished pattern that runs in one direction. Try and have them all run in the same direction. Okay, so 315 mils measuring here. Now from this tile we've got a 3 mil space in here, so you just butt that up against the tape measure. And we want to come about 3 mils past the corner here as well. So that would come to 22.5 centimetres. Twenty-five mils. So from that point, we're coming down two hundred and twenty-five mils. And then three hundred and fifteen over to that point again. And you can just mark it off with your tape measure using that as a ruler. Two hundred and twenty-five that way. And mark that off as a ruler again. Yeah, so once we cut out that with, with our angle grinder, it'll slot nicely in there and it'll follow the line. Preparation is the key to a good tiling job. So always have all your cuts done before you attempt to start gluing. Uh, have them all laid out where they're going to go with at least one full tile next to each cut. So the cuts I've placed in order of from where I'm starting at the top to where I finish at the bottom. Make sure you organise that so if you've only got one doorway to a room that you're working from the wall and finishing at the doorway so you don't tile yourself into the corner. In this room I'm lucky I've got two doorways so I'm going to start from the interior doorway and finish on the exterior. Now I'm going to lay a acrylic based primer and follow the manufacturer's instructions on the back of the bottle. Normally you lay it with a broom or a brush. Uh, in this case I'm just going to use an old paint roller. Now, so you cover all surfaces, pour a bit down and just roll it into the floor. takes 20 minutes to dry before we can start commencing tiling. Uh, so just work an even amount into the floor. That will help your tiles and your glue to stick a lot better. So as you can see it's it's not falling through my fingers too much, so it's, it feels like toothpaste. We let that sit for about five minutes, then we mix it again. <laughs> Glue's been mixed twice, and so a good consistency. So we've got the 10 mil notch trowel. I load it up with the bucket from the bucket. And spread them along the floor like so.
and we'll level the tiles a bit with each other. I've never spread more than, say, around a square metre at a time because you don't want it setting and the glue going off before you've laid the tiles. So they lay the tiles, uh, you want to create a suction effect. So I found the best way to lay a tile is to push it up against the end and let it flop down. That'll create that suction effect you need. And take special care to make sure each tile is level with each other. So if one edge is a bit high, just give a little push down on that. It should even it out. The glue's had adequate time to dry now following the manufacturer's instructions. So now I'm going to pull out these spaces. Most of them will come out easily by hand, but if you get the occasional one that's a bit stuck, you can use a pair of blunt nose pliers and pull out like so.
In certain spots you might have a little bit of glue sticking up that you've missed. So what you can use is one of these. It's generally termed as a grout scraper or grout remover. Uh, it's got a little little uh, blade on the end that uh, scratches out grout and glue or sometimes the spacer might get broken off inside so you just want to remove it down a few mils uh, so you can lay the grout. So when using this you just run it back and forwards and it'll shave down any grout or glue. It's also used for removing tiles. You can take the grout out all around the tile before you, you remove it. I'm now ready to grab between the tiles. So what you will need for, for this job is again a large bucket to mix up the grout in, a little bit of water in the bottom, some more water to mix as you, as, as you, to the right consistency, again a toothpaste consistency is what you're after, bag of grout, dust mask for mix, mixing, eye goggles again for mixing, rubber gloves for mixing and when you're laying the grout and cleaning up protects your hands a little bit, stops you getting grout underneath your nails. Grout squeegee for laying the grout. And again I'm going to mix it with my drill. You can also mix it by hand wearing gloves but you'll get a much better consistency and less lumps if you do it this way. Again, we wait uh, five minutes before remixing, then the grout's ready to use. Okay, when grouting, you load, you squeegee out. Then run backwards and forwards over the, where the grout line is. Once you've finished grouting, you clean up the excess grout with a sponge and a bucket of water. Just dip your sponge in, squeeze it out well, and circular motion around the tile. And also run along the grout line to smooth it out. Try not to take too much out of the grout line. The final product is a freshly tiled room.